Okay, inspired by the uh, YouTube videos I've seen of various aquaponic systems, I've taken my koi pond. There's two koi in a 25 gallon uh, barrel basically that I've built a seat around and I, a screen, I've got a screen cover over it because to keep the raccoons out basically. It's probably deep enough the raccoons couldn't get to them but I just didn't want to bother with it. And this is under a big tree and a lot of stuff was getting in the water too. But anyway, what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the water filter in the, the pond Oops, I don't know if we can get to where we can see it there, barely. And hooked a hose up to it. Took the uh, filtering medium out of it. And I'm running the hose and pumping the water up uh, into trays, regular planting trays, that are about uh, probably a third full of uh, perlite. And then on top of those trays, I'm using standard um, seed trays right now and I could uh, put other planters in. As you can see, the effluent is gradually filtering through this, although the water is flowing pretty continuously. I've got a continuous flow system. And, uh, and then the planters sit in that, or actually on top of it, and that keeps them more than adequately moistened. And of course, eventually I expect the roots will grow down into the peat. Um, but I'll take the plants out of these little starter pots and the seedlings. I mean this one's, let's see, this one's full of seeds. And that one's not hooked up to the system right now, but uh, I've, I've actually been rotating the uh, seedling trays um, so that they don't, you know, stay waterlogged and, and uh, once the plants start growing and start removing it, it won't be such an issue. Anyway, that's my aquaponic system. It's just, I just took trays, drilled holes in the corners and, and set them at a slight slant on boards and pumped it up out of the pond and letting it drain back into the pond and it seems to be working really well.